All right, this is the story of the honey possum, the 16 foot glass bottom boat. And uh, you need to go back in time 18 years to its creation. It was built in 2000 by Joe Kresny at the Tech Center in Juneau, Alaska, taken down to Eureka, California, and stored in a garage for almost two decades. My good buddy Christian, thanks Christian, was uh, very kind and picked it up in Eureka and drove it up to AML in Seattle, dropped it off at the barge for me, and it came up on the barge to Juneau and uh, was in great shape. It had never been in the water at that point. Um, some dry patches from all that California heat. It sat in my shop for a year before I had time to get into it, and I flipped it over, fared the hull, um, did the graphite powder epoxy mixture on the hull, added some UHMW protective strips to the hull with the close supervision of my shop form in there, uh, Finosaurus Rex, uh, prepped the hull for paint with a lot of sanding and a lot of acetone wipes, used a marine grade exterior oil-based paint on the hull, rolling tip, that's the third and final coat there. That sat in the shop for about a week curing as a uh, as the paint dried, installed some cleats, uh, rolled the boat outside, prepared to flip the boat right side up, gathered some friends, uh, flipped the boat right side up, installed the engine, uh, made sure that was going to work out, got the transom height right, uh, rolled it back in the shop, finished a few tidbits, and then took it for a test drive in Ockbay out to Coglin Island just to check one, two, and three on it, and it worked great. It was a great trip. Back to the shop for some African Padoke exterior rails. Those were fit and finished in the shop there at Rocky Top and then prepared to install some hardware that came with the boat, put the name on it, and got ready for the big move of cutting the hole. And I've got this idea to install a one inch thick acrylic panel in uh, the hull here uh, to make a glass bottom boat. So uh, we can take the kids and adults out um, and cruise around and watch the creatures go by. So. I'm about to cut a 27 by 33 inch hole in the bottom of a brand new boat and uh, I hope it goes well. Got a uh, piece of aluminum here propping up the uh, boat off the trailer bunks there so I don't saw into the trailer bunks. This came from uh, TAP in Seattle and it's uh, like 0.98 of an inch uh, weighs about Boy, uh, boy's about 25 pounds or so. It's pretty heavy. Anyways, uh, here we go. We'll see. Risky move there, MacGruber. Well, cutting the panel was pretty successful. Turns out the hull was half an inch thick with glass on either side. Uh, shop foreman, thorough inspection approved um, and passed with no major issues. And so uh, onward to roll the boat outside. Okay, I got the uh Honey possum hung up here on my Harbor Freight electric winch and uh, I got the fiberglass panel has been routered and uh, set into the hull and it's going to get through bolted with these, um, these are quarter by 20 two inch stainless steel uh, 530 seconds inset allen head bolts and so it's going to get 22 of those inset into the hull. I'll fill those holes with uh, G-Flex and paint over the top of them so it'll be smooth. And then uh, it'll get a washer and a uh, 
cap nut on this side. So we're getting getting closer. Getting closer. It will be a bed with uh, 5200, which was recommended by the manufacturer for. Okay, I got this uh, ceiling surface bed with uh, 5200. Got the uh, holes here that those uh, stainless bolts sink into. There's a bit of uh, 5200 in there to help create a uh, watertight seal. Roger. Are you driving? Okay. Look down there. We go fast. Ready to go fast? Okay. Get you guys in the film here. Full speed. Go, man, go. And back to the shop for some interior oil-based paint and some homemade non-skid with walnut shell, some kiwi grip on the interior decks, Shopmaster snack attack uh, on scene, of course, interior purple heart rails. Uh, Christmas time came and went through that process, so we tried to get out, enjoy the nice weather in June. Not real mild Christmas this year. We did ICOM radio, nav lights, battery, uh, some real basic electronics, uh, wiring 101, enjoyed a nice twilight down at the boat harbor one night, and we are almost done.